so I just tried to get this gift for a friend. Um, and it was this heart-shaped succulent plant. Um, or a plant close to a succulent. And it was in this nice little pink um, base or whatever. And I just thought it was a perfect gift for this friend because I felt like every time they would go to water it, they would remember in that moment to water their own heart with love, you know, to, to care for their own heart. And I was just like, oh, this is like the perfect gift for this person. And so I, uh, I was just, and I just spontaneously came in, came across this plant store and I had just awesome vibes. And so I'm checking out and for whatever reason, the, the credit card machine isn't working and a keyboard's breaking and it's like not, I like literally wasn't able to get the plant because there was just everything was malfunctioning with the technology at checkout. <laughs> and I was just thinking why that I wasn't even really thinking why that was, but something just dropped in like a knowing of this person isn't ready to receive this gift yet. And then I thought of this person and felt into them or just I just know them. And I was like, oh, yeah, that totally makes sense. Um it was like such a great gift for them, but they weren't ready to receive the gift yet. And that's why there was so much trouble going on with like trying to get it to them. I felt anyways, that was my intuitive knowing. And it just kind of made me think of like, how many times have people maybe got on my Patreon page to sign up and something's gone wrong, you know, or, or maybe to, um, to donate or, or whatever. It's like a lot of times we think we want more, like we want to receive more, but we don't have the space for more or we're not open to receiving more. Um, and that's really the work. The work isn't about getting more and really going after it anymore. That's not the energy on earth right now. Um, it's more about just clearing your space and allowing more to flow into your life in the perfect time. And being really, really happy with what is in your life right now. Because a lot of the times we have to ask ourselves, like, why do we want more in the first place? Like, why are we wanting more? And, you know, it's, it's a lot of times like uh, this hungry ghost within us that always wants more. No matter how much it gets, it's never satiated. Um, like when I'm in a state of lack, and this is a lot of times why we want more is we're feeling lack with our current reality. Um, our current reality doesn't feel full enough to us. So we feel like we need to, we need more to come in, whether that's someone's love, whether that's more money, whether that's more success and admiration. You know, when I'm in hungry ghost mode, like today I was in, a in nature, um, I don't even know if that feels alive to share. But like, yeah, when I'm in hungry ghost mode, no matter how much validation and approval I get, because I have, I've opened up lots of pathways to receive validation and approval, right? Because I put myself out there. I'm really seen. Um, I've noticed that when I'm in lack, no matter how much of that stuff I get, even though it's temporarily satiating, it temporarily f feels good. It's never enough for this part, you know? And until we meet those parts of us that are feeling stuck in lack and feeling disconnected from source, until we meet those parts, then our field isn't going to be open enough to receive um, all the beautiful things the universe wants to bring into our life. And the thing is, when we meet those parts of us in lack and that are disconnected from source, we no longer actually even need to receive all the blessings that are coming our way. They just happen and it's, it's, a, it's a joy. Um... But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's completing us. It's just something nice to, to experience. Um, you know, it's, it's not like that relief you get. It's not like a relief, like, oh, thank God I received that. I really needed it. Like, I've had that so many times in my life. Like, oh, thank God that person booked a session with me. Or, oh, thank God I got that donation. When you're full and you're connected to source and you're integrated... And, and beautiful blessings come your way. It's just more of, you know, um, just like a, 
it's more of a neutral feeling you're more like you're appreciated of it and you and you you're willing to enjoy it and receive it of course um, but it's not like a, a high or something you're just like because you're already high you're already full you know and so that's that's the thing if you're really wanting to receive more ask yourself well why is that you know and, and you'll notice it's because you're feeling lots of lack in your life and you think that maybe if you receive more from the external that you won't feel as much lack but that's that's not true um that can it can feel temporarily temporarily like that um but eventually you know that lack feeling resurfaces to be met by you and and you'll notice when that lack comes up it's almost like the universe will starve you for a while of external validation and and um love and things like that because it really wants you to meet that those feelings of not good enough or incompleteness you know or unfulfilled and then the more you're with those feelings the more you feel whole obviously the more will come into your life but then you're in this place where you don't even need it to come into your life anymore because you're already full so that's the game guys um and yeah it's amazing how this whole video just came through because i was trying to get someone a gift and i attuned to the fact like oh they're just not ready to receive it that's why i can't get it for them and then I was like attuning to like, oh, how many times have people wanted to do nice things for me? And I was like, I'm not ready to receive that, you know? Um, and that's okay. And the key is just be so, so blessed for what, what's happening right now. And feel how full ever, this moment is right now. And feel how this moment is actually not lacking anything. This moment is actually 100% completely full of God and divine grace. No matter what your circumstances are, you, the moment that you're experiencing right now is 100% full of divine grace. And when you actually wake up to that fact, that's when the universe will just flood you with everything you could ever imagine. Um, but like I said, it, it won't be, it won't be something that you're, you're really like needing. It'll just be, um, it'll just be natural it'll just be cool you know oh this is interesting it's just interesting you know everything you know it's almost not as like not any more interesting than a leaf on a tree because the leaf on the tree is like oh my god what a miracle oh my god what a blessing i'm taking in this tree right now like what a divine miracle that i'm experiencing this tree right like a tree can get that alive in your experience when you really start deeply connecting to yourself and source and when a tree is that alive then yeah if someone gives you a nice feedback or your business starts booming or those things start happening it's it's like you know it's like okay it's not that big a deal anymore there this writer who wrote levels of energy he, he said it's really actually kind of a, a cosmic joke like right when you don't need the thing anymore you have it chills saying that right when you don't need it it's yours it's yours but if you really need it the universe ain't gonna give it to you because it's like come on the universe is like hey <laughs> that's not how this game works honey it's like you know find it in yourself is what the universe is saying she's like find it in yourself first and then it shall be yours um because then you have the power and the maturity to actually handle it, right? Whatever, I'm just rambling. Hope some of this resonated. Um, got chills a couple times, so. Sending you all so much love. Thank you for being here. Let's see how receptive I am. <laughs> if you wanna send me a donation, there's a link to do that. If you want to send me a reoccurring monthly donation, you can join the Patreon page and do that as well. Lots of exclusive content on there um, that you might find enjoyable. Of course, I am having sessions right now with you guys. I'm really enjoying those. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the Kundalini support group up and running. Still waiting for someone to uh, post to it to be the first poster. But I think that group over time is going to get really alive because I've linked it under all of my videos. So, yeah, that could be a really um, engaging and supportive space for you guys. Um, but, yeah, other than that, sending you love. Thanks for being here. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.